Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyAutomation.com and welcome to another video for Understanding Testim course. And in this video, we'll be talking about advanced interaction in Testim. All right, so let's get started. So in this video, we are going to talk about scrolling and auto scrolling, mouse wheel, drag and drop, navigation, file upload with select file and drag and drop operation. So you can see that these are some of the most advanced interaction, not just like clicking an element or selecting a drop down, clicking a checkbox or even selecting a hyperlinks and things of that nature. So we're not going to be discussing about them because we have already discussed them a little bit on our previous video. But in this video, we are going to be talking about these advanced interactions, which are kind of very, very handy and it's available within testing. And you can see that these are some of the most edge cases that you will be ending up in any automation testing tool and test team support them all. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to my Chrome browser. So this is my project in test team and you can see that I have a test called file upload. So I'm just going to be going all the way from the file upload operation where I can show you some of these stuffs which are going to be something like scroll, mouse wheel and stuff so within this particular test itself. So we are going to be covering all of these operations within this particular test along with the file upload and you will understand how test team is going to be doing some of the default operation like mouse wheel and scrolling within our test automatically even if you don't really specify them or like an action that you need to perform on that. So for the file upload, I'm going to be using a website called fine uploader. So if I just hit this record, you can see that this is the fineuploader.com slash demo.html. And let me just make it a little bit smaller. And you can see once I do that, you can see that the mouse wheel stub has been created automatically there, right? And now if I just scroll, you can see that automatically the scroll page is coming up here which is like an stub automatically created for you by testing. And you can see that we have this particular file uploader option. So you can either drop a file or you can upload a file. So for instance, if I'm going to upload a file, if I just select that, and if I select this uh, udemy.png, and if I hit open there, you can see it's been uploaded here. And if I want to drag and drop a file, I can also do that. So you can see that I'm going to be dragging and dropping this particular uh, screenshot here. So I'm just going to select that and I'm just going to drag. I'm going to put it here in the screenshot. And once I do that, you can see that this file has also been uploaded there. So I'm just going to close this guy and you can see that all these operations are being recorded like udemy.png one file and there is the screenshot file has also been uploaded like a drop file and this is like an input file so it tells you the differentiation of what operation that we are doing in here I just ignore this mouse wheel maybe I have just hovered that or maybe scroll my mouse wheel during that time so I can just close this test and I can quickly run and show you how it looks like so basically you can see that this mouse wheel and the scroll elements are being recorded automatically using our step and you can see that there is a target element which tells you like which element that you are going to be uh, scrolling the element to. You can also specify the relative position or absolute position of that particular element. And you can also specify some other operation like you can reassign this particular element or you can improve the target element or you can also highlight the element if that particular uh, element is available or visible at this point. You can do that as well. And there are some other operations that we'll be discussing in our upcoming videos of this course, like the steps. But as of now, these are some of the things that you can do within this particular uh, step, like scroll to element. So as that said, I'm just going to be quickly running the test and show you how it looks like. So I've just deleted the unnecessary redundant step there. And I'm going to be hitting this run. And you can see that once I do that, it is going to be scrolling down. So it's just reducing the size, scrolling the element, and you can see that currently it is going to be uploading both the files for us over here. And you can see that these two files are completely uh, taken care of automatically by the test team and the test has got passed as well. And now you can ask me like, where is this particular file is being stored and how the file selection is being performed for the drag and drop operation? Well, for the test team's concern, how it works is, you can see that for the input file, if I just select that guy over here, you can see there is an uploaded file like udemy.png. And if I just open this particular file, 
you can see this file comes in. So it is actually sitting in the test teams static.blob.core.windows.net. So there is a file by project and there is a GUID and followed by a hyphen of udemy.png. So meaning every time while you do an input or a drag and drop operation, that particular file is being saved within test teams on cloud server. So they just store all your file within the cloud server and then from there the file is being uploaded. So now anyways you're going to be dragging and dropping a file or being selecting a particular file from a machine. Intention is just to see if that particular operation is being performed without any problem. Those operations are going to be happening even regardless of your file being available within your machine or in the testing server. But you can ask me what is the limitations of the file size. The maximum file size that test team support currently is 1 MB, but you can still increase the size of a file. Let's say you have a place uh, job which has like a package which is to be uploaded, which has to be uploaded within your test, like more than 5 or 6 MB uh, or maybe beyond that. You can contact test team support team and they are happy enough to increase the size of the file just for your project, just for your test that you are looking for so that you will have that particular operation as well without any problem. So this is how the file upload operations are being performed using the test teams file upload option. And you can see that we have already covered the scroll element and the mouse wheel operation just automatically by default while the tests are being happening. And these images are really, really cool as well. So you can see this is a browser, which means it's a file navigation and you can see the file navigation is something we have already discussed in our previous video i guess so once i click that you can see this is a base url uh, which shows the url that you be uh, that you are looking for uh, and it's in chrome browser and similarly the mouse wheel there's a wheel symbol there and this is the resize that's why there is a like, scaling symbol and this is a scroll that's why you see this is a different symbol and this is a click operation and that's why you can see that this mouse is different from this mouse icon which is cool and this is an upload uh, from the input file, whereas for the drag and drop, you can see that it, the symbol is completely different, which is pretty cool. And these are very, very individual uh, designed icons sitting in for each and every steps for uh, the way that you can differentiate between uh, the steps that you have. So this is how we can work with the scroll, mouse wheel, and navigation and file upload within our test. And the next operation that we'll be discussing is actually not the file upload, Rather, we are going to be discussing about the drag and drop operation. So this is kind of very, very common as well, because for the drag and drop, we most of the time, we will be having the Selenium's hover action method to perform that operation. But in this case, we are going to be dealing with a very, very easy operation. So for doing that, this time, I'm going to be changing the navigation of the base URL a little bit with our exit automations uh, demo site. It has got the capability of the drag and drop. So I'm just gonna be uh, doing that. I'm just gonna paste the particular URL and then I'm gonna hit record. So this way it's gonna start recording. Uh, and I'm not really gonna be entering the username and password because even without that, it still works. So, and then I'm gonna hit this drag and drop. You can see that this drag and drop option comes in and now you can see that I'm going to be dragging. So once I do the drag, you can see that the drag item one appears here. And then I'm going to drag two. And I'm going to drag three to five. So you can see that this shows things for you. So I can do this drag and drop operation and test him is intelligent enough to record all these operations for us. So once everything is done, you can just close this guy. And then you can see that all these actions that we performed are actually being saved over here, right? And you can also see that for the drag operation, the, the icon is a little bit different. And if I hit the setting, you can see that you have dragged this element. So it shows that for you. And then you can also specify the drop on specific element. So you can also do that if you want. Uh, but as of now, I'm just going to be ignoring that particular step. But we can quickly run this test and I'll show you how the test is going to look like. So once I run that, you can see that it's going to perform the exact same operation that we actually encountered during the recording operation. So it went to the uh, drag and drop and you can see that it is doing all sort of things for us. There you go. Three has come down. One is all the way down. Yep. There you go. 
I think all the operation that we recorded is actually being performed right now with the drag and drop operation, which is pretty cool and impressive. So this is how we can do all these sort of drag and drop operation as well, along with our normal interactions that we can do with our test team. So this is really, really cool to see like all these operations are being supported within test team and we can enhance the power of advanced interaction within test team in much, much simpler way using these operations. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video. In our next video, we are going to be discussing about steps in much greater detail.